Aloha, we are back. We're here on page um, four and five of 1123. I have to tell you a funny story. So in, uh, in Hawaii, of course, the word aloha means hello. Sometimes it means goodbye, means love, lots of different meanings. And the word mahalo means thank you. So on the McDonald's trash cans in Hawaii, all the trash cans right on the front say the word mahalo. So you hit the mahalo door and you put your trash in. And uh, so I remember being in a uh, restaurant there in Kaneohe, Hawaii, and some tourists were sitting nearby. And I heard the wife say to her husband, now when you're done, put your mahalo in that can over there. <laughs> So she assumed mahalo to trash, not thank you. All right, page four and five. We're gonna graph some lines and uh, talk about how do we go from an equation to coming up with the points to then putting it on the graph, okay? <clears throat> I, okay, I've been teaching algebra for almost 40 years. So I'm gonna tell you a method that always, always, always works. Okay, it's a it has a slightly different step than they have in the pace, <clears throat> but I really think it's going to simplify it for you. Okay, so follow me. We want to solve for y. <clears throat> now in the pace, they just take a number and plug it in for x, solve the equation, and try to figure out what y is, and that'll work. Okay, that will work. Some, but sometimes you'll end up with fractions, and those just are not fun to try to graph. Okay, so I'm going to teach you a method where you don't have to do fractions. So if we start with this, and I'm gonna take the 14x over here to this side. So you remember the rule, 2y equals, if you take it to the other side, change sides, change signs, okay? Then I'm going to, to solve for y, divide everything by negative two. And so I get y equals negative seven x, whoops minus <laughs> two, because four divided by negative two is negative two. Okay, so see what we did? We solved for y, and um, <clears throat> now we're gonna plug in some numbers here for x. Always, this is an always rule, okay? This is great. Always, always, always plug in zero, okay? For x. <clears throat> then we wanna plug in a negative number and a positive number. Could be negative one, positive one, maybe negative two, positive two. Make up numbers, it doesn't matter. Okay, you can plug in any number you want. We want to do at least three points. I'm gonna do four. So I'm gonna do negative one, positive one, and I'm gonna do um, positive two. Okay, let's just see what happens here. If I plug in zero for x, then that means right here, I'm gonna put in a parentheses and plug in the zero, okay? Order of operations, negative seven times zero is zero. Zero minus two is negative two. Doesn't matter that it was negative seven. Negative seven times zero is still, ne is still just zero. There's no negative zero. All right, now let's do negative one. So if I plug in negative one here, negative seven times negative one is positive seven, right? Positive seven minus two is five. Now I'm gonna plug in positive one, so I'll change that. Negative seven times one is negative seven, negative seven minus two, get negative nine. All right, since I'm gonna do four here, I'm gonna do a negative two, because otherwise I'm gonna be way off the chart. So negative two, yes, this gives me positive 14. Positive 14 minus two is 12. All right, I have four points. Let's go over here to the graph and see where they fall. So zero is negative two. Negative one is one, two, three, four, five. One is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, somewhere down here. And if I did negative two, it would be way up here. It's off the chart already, okay? So that's a pretty steep slope. And then I can connect the dots and I should always use a ruler. I didn't do that just now, so it looks kind of <laughs> kind of wavy. But you should use a ruler, a straight edge, okay? Even the edge of a three by five card will work. Connect the dots nice and neat. And they should all line up perfectly, okay? When you do that. 
All right, I'm going to erase just the line. So that example was actually one that was in the example in your pace. Let's take one problem from the book. Okay, I still want you to do it, but let's talk our way through setting it up. We have 4x minus 6y equals 12. So again, we're going to solve. I want you to solve for y first. Okay, so I'm going to take 4 to the other side. Change sides, change signs. Now I'm going to divide by negative 6. So now I get positive y, and that's what I want. y equals, I can reduce this fraction, 2 thirds x minus 12 divided by negative 6 is 2. So negative 2 plus negative 2, or just you know, minus 2. Now here's why I did this one. Okay, the other three are actually easier. They're going to be they're going to work out like that. You can do anything. But here we have a fraction, and so we have to be a little bit careful about which numbers we plug in for x. I'm going to follow the rule that I just gave you, and that is we always use zero. Okay, so we'll plug in zero. Then here's the little trick, and they don't tell you this in the pace. Okay, so this is a Mr. Anger tip. Whatever the denominator is, whatever the denominator is, we want to use that. So I'm going to use 3, and then I'm going to use negative 3. Okay? If I wanted to do another one, I might do 6. Okay? Let's see what happens when I graph these. If you plug in 0 here, 2 thirds times 0 is just 0, and then you subtract the 2, minus 2. Watch what happens with the 3. If I plug in 3, 2 thirds, let me actually write it here times 3, it's kind of like 3 over 1, the 3's will cancel, and I'll get 2. And 2 minus 2 is 0. See? Now I'll plug in the negative 3. So that changes to negative 3, but now this makes this negative 2, okay? Because this just becomes, you know, 1 and 1. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, negative 2 minus 2, negative 4, Okay, and then I could do another one. I could do the point 0.6. I'm not going to take the time to do that. You can do that on your own. Let's find where these points are then. 0, negative 2. Ah, we still have this point. 3, 0. Okay, and then out here at negative 3, we're down here at negative 4. Okay, notice how they all line up. Okay, so you need to do that. I'll finish that one out, graph those points, and then you can connect them with a line. But see how easy that is? First solve for y, and uh, always use zero. If you do have a denominator here for, with the x term, then that's what you want to have plugged in up here for the x values. And that way you won't have to be graphing any fractions. All right, that'll make it a lot easier. Just looking through this pace, it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of lessons for this pace. It's um, a lot of graphing, and every page that we turn is a whole new concept. So hopefully these short videos are giving you a little reminder of what you did back in Algebra 1. By the way, let me just mention at this point, <clears throat> if my short videos are not giving you enough help and you still don't feel confident, there's a website called Khan Academy. They have a YouTube channel, and they have a website where you can search for the videos. And it was a, um, an Asian, what would you call a uh, young man, college age, and he was trying to help his nephew. And so back when his nephew was struggling with even just fractions back in elementary school, he was making teaching videos, kind of like I'm doing. Um, but it was just general concepts, and then he kept posting them and adding more, and there were lots and lots of students who found them and used them. Well, I'm telling you, all these concepts that are in this pace, um, you can look up even the title that's on those pages, and you'll find even more videos where he explains it, and maybe he'll explain it a little different way than I'm trying to explain it, and it'll connect with you, you know? He'll give you more examples. His videos tend to be a little bit longer, and you don't have to look at his face. He's doing everything on an um, electronic whiteboard. Anyways, just something to check out, Khan Academy, if you need a little more help than what we're giving you.